Greetings YouTubers, this is JokerJace25 with a video review and unboxing of Triad Toys' uh, deluxe 12-inch collectible figure of Zorro. This one, six collectible, I uh, just got it in today. Uh, it retails for about $120 through Triad. Uh, there's some sellers from uh, Big Bad Toy Store and a few others that have it cheaper. I currently uh, make a custom 12 inch figure. If any of you have, uh, are aware of my videos, I make a Guy Williams version which is based on the Disney uh, take on Zorro. This version of Zorro is not based on you know, any type of Zorro. It's not Douglas Fairbanks, it's not Antonio Banderas, and it's not Guy Williams. It's kind of a generic Zorro which is kind of cool because if you were wanting to customize this figure, the possibilities are endless. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at them and let's see what, uh, I'll give you my review and we'll see what you think. First of all, he comes in a box that has uh, the figure on the front. Uh, that might maybe too much of a glare. box didn't come in the, the best condition from uh, then this was directly from triad on the back we have a uh, like a legend of zorro little um, bio and more pictures of the figure in various poses and just a zorro logo with a silhouette of zorro with a sword drawn that's nice uh, let's go ahead and open it up now like with most Triad Toys, we have our accessories on that front panel and that uh, nice little clear tray that comes off. And there we go. Now we can see Zorro himself. Very nice head sculpt. Leather like boots nice looking black outfit and uh, kinda like leather like gauntlets with the black hands for accessories it, uh, we have a belt that looks like it's been pressed in with a design we got two different hands there a black mask a scarf the scabbard and the sword and it looks like we've got some uh, some spurs a whip and his hat that's in plastic um, my figure that I make, uh, I actually hand make the felt hats, which at this scale, is, they're, they're, it's hard to get it to look exactly right. But um, we'll go ahead and get him unboxed, and I will give you my final review on him. I've got him out of the package, and have gone over him. He's not completely together. I've got him somewhat together, but there's a couple things that I need to uh, fix or change. And I'll just basically go over some of the accessories and everything about the figure. Um, first off, what we got here is the, the plastic scabbard that uh, he comes with. It's got some nice little leather eyelets that will fit to the belt. And uh, the sword fits in it well, and it's uh, nicely detailed. I like it. Um, the whip he comes with is actually a bendable whip, so you could put it in different poses for him and it's rubber and you could just wrap it up in a circle and it will fit on his belt again it's got a little place for it uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the sword if I can get it out of his hand All right. the sword is actually done really well it's reminiscent of the sword that you would see in the Antonio Banderas uh, Mask of Zorro movies um, it's got the hilt that is very similar to the, that movie sword um, the handle and everything is plastic but the sword itself is metal his hat is plastic um, has an elastic cord attached very nicely done nice detail on it um, to resemble felt a felt type hat very good good size fits them well 
His mask, however, is uh, like a, a rubber type mask and it's got an elastic cord in it. Um, you can use that with the bandana to give them that whole head kind of wrap. Um, it is a little thick. Mine's got uh, some silver paint overlay on it. I don't know why that is. Uh, I'd have to touch that up and fix it. The head itself is uh, an excellent sculpt, I think. It's got very good detail. Uh, very prominent seam line on the head, but uh, I know a lot of people try to compare Triad to Hot Toys. It's not Hot Toys. Uh, but then again, we're not paying $200 for a figure either. The belt is extremely nice. I like that a lot. Uh, the boots are leather-like boots. Uh, what I do like is the spurs are actually metal. Really nicely done. Uh, the interchangeable hands are nice. The cape is nice. It doesn't flow out as much as I thought it would. It's done in a pleated design. But uh, I like it. A uh, couple things that I'm going to have to fix on this figure. Um... Uh, that I was kind of surprised. The the shirt is a, a little jacked up. Um, I've tried to, to straighten it and everything like that, but the collar is messed up. I think if I just take it off and like press it or iron it, I can fix it up for the figure. Um, the snap on his pants is undone, um, meaning that the, it's not sewn on there anymore. And just basically the cape, because of it being in the, the, the box, it's kind of crinkled. The cape just needs to be slightly pressed but the other thing cool about the cape is um not on this side but for some reason on just one side it's got a wire in it so you can pose the the cape and it's not on the bottom and it's not on this side it's just along that one side of the cape I'm not quite sure why it's not on both sides but all in all, for the price point on this figure, I really, really like it. Um, like I said, if this was something that you wanted to turn into, like an uh, Antonio Banderas, uh, Triad even makes a uh, an agent doll that has an Antonio Banderas head, so it would be as easy as popping off the heads and switching it, and you would have a Mask of Zorro figure. Um, there are custom heads out there. Hell, I make uh, the Guy Williams one. It wouldn't be hard to, to switch out the heads uh, from this one to a Guy Williams, and you could have a, a, a Disney Zorro. Um, I, I'm going to probably keep him the way he is. I might get another one later and switch it out and have an Antonio Banderas just because I, I, I like Zorro. That's why I make Zorro figures is because he's one of my favorite characters. But... Um, for for what you can find them for, like around, I know he's he's priced at 120 at Triad. I used a coupon code, so I was able to get them for for 110. Plus, I went ahead and got uh, the two of their agent figures because they had them priced down to like 40 dollars a piece, which I'm going to do reviews on those individually too. But all in all, uh, I would definitely give this figure a good solid eight out of 10 stars. And. Uh, Go ahead and comment and review. Uh, I think he's an excellent figure. I just think we uh, needed a decent review on this figure on YouTube because I haven't seen one. On a quick note too, I had a chance to look over the, the accessories that, that came with Zorro. Um, and I noticed on my whip, I don't know if you can tell by looking at it, but the wire is coming through. Um, other than that, uh, I've got him completely together now. There's a couple things, like I said before, that I need to tweak, including the collar and the cape. But I just wanted to give you a, a full gist of what he looked like completely dressed with a scabbard on his hip and everything like that. But um, I was kind of shocked that that went through quality control so hey if try it if you're out there watching you guys owe me a Zorro whip but uh, other than that uh, still uh, excellent figure definitely well worth the money and uh, if you're a fan or a collector even though I make 
custom Zorro figures, this is a, a must buy in my book. Again, thank you for watching, and uh, take care and have a great day.